This is where you're supposed to be, lad. Not sat inside your dusty room right now. If you're watching this in your room, on your bed, or at your computer desk, you like an incel, please, first of all, sit up straight. Hold yourself with some good posture. Pump the chest out. Shoulders back, all right? Roll them back like that. And then forward. If you need to, stretch your shoulder blades all the way back. Like that. Just stretch your shoulder blades until they touch. And then, boom, maintain that fucking stature. All right? That, that powerful posture. Head back as well. Push your neck back like that. And then resume. Boom. Stand tall, yeah? None of this fucking incel posture bullshit. You are meant to be in nature. You're meant to be out here like this with the fucking leaves and shit, bro, in the sun. Basking in the sun. With no sun cream on, bearing in mind. You know what? The modern world, and this is going to get quite uh, controversial, let's say. This is interesting. The modern world is all about consumerism. It's all about business. It's all about money, monetarily motivated. You must question everything that you see, everything that you buy, everything that you have been told is the truth. And curate your own reality. Feed into your own beliefs. Choose what, what is true. You decide what's true. We all know the power of the placebo effect, the power of the mind, the power of your thoughts and how your body responds to your thoughts physically. That's scientifically proven that your body does that, right? We all know that. If you watch my channel often, you'll, you'll know the power of your mind and how you can literally impact and cure your body just with your mind and the thoughts that you tell yourself. Now, with this being said, do you think you were supposed to be caged up in a box all day? Do you think you're supposed to be caged up around buildings and skyscrapers and pollution and cars all day? Or do you think you're supposed to be out here connected to the ground? Now, obviously, I've got my shoes on right now, but I highly recommend you try grounding as well. Take your shoes off, take your socks off, and just stand with your bare feet on the earth, on the ground, in the mud, in the grass. Not on the fucking concrete, on the grass, in the mud. Raw, authentic, real. Mother Nature is... is the core of life, right? It's one thing that is always adaptable. You know, when the meteors fucking hit Earth, guess what? Mother Nature adapts and it just comes back. Like, it's not, it just can't be wiped out, okay? Like the man made infrastructure you see around you with the buildings and the fucking, the, the pavements and shit. I know I'm sounding like a fucking crazy tinfoil hat man right now, but just please bear with me. You've been sold a lot of lies to get you to buy things, to get you to consume, to get you to do certain things you don't really need to do because you believe that it's the way to do things. Does that make sense or am I just chatting shit? First of all, we'll start with the sun. You've been told if you go out in the sun, you'll get skin cancer if you go out in the sun without sun cream on. Why do you think they tell you that? Well, because it's true, because it's scientifically proved. Have you actually done your research? Do you genuinely understand how the sun can cause sun cancer? Do you genuinely understand what the sun does to your body, how the body responds to the sun? Most likely not, you probably just think, oh well, sun cream equals no skin cancer. Okay, cool, I'm gonna buy sun cream then. That's you stuck in the consumerist. That's you stuck in the, the monetary cycle that they want you to be in. That's you stuck in the rat race, in the matrix, whatever you wanna call it. If you go out in the sun with no sun cream on, your body can absorb vitamin D and melanin. Two things that reduce the risk of cancer cells duplicating in your body. If you have sun cream on, your body cannot absorb vitamin D or melanin. Therefore, your risk of cancer actually goes up, not down. Obviously, if you spend time in the sun and you burn and your skin is damaged, naturally, because the skin's weaker, because the cells have been damaged, yes, you can be more susceptible of cancer, right? But just don't burn. It's not fucking hard. Do you think your ancestors were running around in the plains of fucking Africa or whatever the fuck, right? In the Sahara Desert, in the savannah, well, I'll go put my sun cream on one second. Uh, yeah, it's saber tooth tiger. Just stay there, mate. Well, I just wipe my sun cream. No. Do you think they were running around with shoes on? It? No. Barefoot, naked, <laughs> sprinting through the fucking sun in the hot desert heat. Hotter than this shit. It's like 20 degrees right now in the UK, in Manchester. This is like a heat wave for me. <laughs> my body, uh, my body's kind of adapted to the sun now. I've got a nice tan going on. But um, yeah, your ancestors weren't sitting there putting sun cream on, bro. That's a modern creation. Testosterone is another thing. There's chemicals in sun cream. There's chemicals in fucking pretty much everything. There's chemicals in this phone that I'm holding right now to record this video. There's chemicals. I won't say chemicals, let's say. There's radiation. But there's chemicals in the fruit that you eat that you think's healthy for you. Guess what? It's sprayed with pesticides to keep it looking nice and fresh and, and good for the customer, for the consumer. It keeps it looking red 
and colourful. The apples, for example. They spray pesticides on it to keep it looking bright. And, ah, that, that, that apple looks nice. Let me buy that one. Again, you're stuck in the rat race. You're stuck in the consumerist mindset of buying things. Did you know, mate, fun fact of the day, if you stand here with your fucking... I'm not going to get my dick out, don't worry. Yo, you see the tan line, by the way? What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. Maybe I should get my knob out. <laughs> hey, not for you, though, bro. Fuck off. But if you get your dick out, <laughs> obviously make sure there's no one around, and you let the sun shine on your genitals, your test testosterone increases. Your testosterone literally goes up. Okay? You probably already know that if you've, you, know, you watch my videos. You're probably quite clued up with this kind of stuff. But for any of the newcomers, for any of the stragglers, you must understand that if you are questioning anything, if you're questioning what's right and wrong, what's good and bad, what's healthy and unhealthy, just think, 100 years ago, what were my ancestors doing? Even for, way far back than that. What were my ancestors' caveman days? What were my ancestors doing? Were they putting sun cream on? Were they fucking, oh, wait one sec, guys, let me just... Uh, you know, get my pesticide fruit from the supermarket. No, just picking it from the fucking ground and eating it, picking it off the tree and eating it. It's all, you have to strip all this modern day bullshit back, all the moisturizers you're putting on your skin, because oh, skincare routine, skincare routine, wasting like an hour a day putting that, but if I don't have any spots, apart from that one. <laughs> my skin's clear, right? My skin's healthy, it's clear for 90% of the time. Obviously every now and then you're gonna get spots. Do you even know what a spot is? Do you even know the purpose of a spot on your skin? You probably don't. You think, oh, I'm spotty, oh, I've got acne, therefore I'm going to buy these products. Buy, buy, buy. That's what you're doing. You're stuck in the cycle of buying shit. This video was supposed to be about nature, and I was just going to tell you to get out in nature and look how beautiful it is and look how nice it is, but it's much deeper than that. Why is it so beautiful? Because it's the core of what, what keeps you healthy as a human being. Sun cream, moisturizers, all this shit that you're buying and putting on your skin, all these businesses that you're supplying with your money, your hard-earned money, because you think that they're going to help you stay healthy is actually doing the complete opposite it's quite ironic because you buy moisturizer to keep your skin healthy but then you're just stripping away the natural oils that your skin needs to stay moisturized and then keeping you in this never-ending cycle of buying the product again same with sun cream you buy the sun cream because you think it protects you from skin cancer then you don't, you don't get any vitamin d and then guess what you have to do then buy vitamin d supplements rather than just getting it naturally from the sun both to think the, the layers go so deep the matrix what you want to call it it's, it's much deeper than oh working a nine to five job it's everything is the matrix everything is the fucking system everything is designed to keep you a, an unhealthy very easy to kill slave you must must consider all of this stuff to a very deep level just everything that you're doing ask yourself right this apple that i'm eating how could this be bad for me where did i purchase this apple Okay, cool, I got it from the supermarket. Well, what are they, did I get it in a plastic bag? Did I get it in, in the fucking plastic little packaging? Well, guess what? Plastic patch, bro, DPA. Testosterone goes down. Okay, <laughs> pesticides on the apple. Oh, well, I'll just wash it. You're washing it with tap water, fluoride. Testosterone goes down. Everything is designed to keep you weak. Everything's designed to keep you easy to fucking kill. To make you a fucking a retard, to make you brain dead to make you not function properly, to make your dick not work anymore. Do you want that? Genuinely ask yourself right now, in 30 years of you eating pesticide fruit and drinking tap water and going outside with sun cream on so you never get any proper vitamin D, do you want your dick to stop working? Because <laughs> your testosterone is just key, just keep going down. Your phone in your pocket all the time with mobile data constantly turned on. Some, I, bro, I, know, I know people that sleep with the phone like this next to the fucking face and they go to sleep like that, cuddling the fucking phone. EMFs, radiation, not good for you, lowers testosterone, very bad for your health. There was a study done, I think it was, uh, if I remember correctly, about plants, and they were growing plants in one room with no Wi-Fi, and then they were growing plants in another room with Wi-Fi connected to whatever it was, it was like a, a router in there, right? The plants in the room with the Wi-Fi took 10 times longer to grow, I don't remember the exact you know, specifics, but you get the point, right? It took so much longer to grow, in the room with the Wi-Fi than it did without the Wi-Fi because of the EMS, because of the radiation. Now, I'm not a scientist. I'm not, I don't know this shit in depthly, but please just do your research. And put, I'm, I'm, I'm humble here, right? I'm not going to say I'm, I'm the expert and I know everything, but I know enough to keep myself healthy. I know enough to keep myself healthier than the average individual. But what's your skincare routine? If I see one more guy asking what my skincare routine is, I'm deleting my channel. My skincare routine is I don't buy any fucking products and I don't put nothing on my face that doesn't belong there. 
if, if in doubt, ask yourself, what would my ancestors be doing? How would my ancestors deal with this problem? What foods would my ancestors eat? Oh, well, I don't know what to eat to stay healthy. What diet should I have? What would your ancestors eat? Meat. They'd fucking kill a lion and eat the meat. They'd, they'd get an apple from the tree. You know, carrots from the ground, whatever. Raw, you know, natural shit. Not any of this fucking pro McDonald's, hey, McDonald's dry fruit. None of this bullshit. It's not hard. Just strip back the basics. How do I have clear skin? Get fucking sunlight. Get some vitamin D without sun cream on. Stop sitting indoors all day like an incel. Go outside, get some daylight exposure in your eyes and on your skin. Increase your testosterone, increase your melanin levels, increase your melatonin levels. Make sure you're sleeping better. The levels to this is just fucking literally never ending. I can't even make a full video on it because it would take me like five hours to go through all of these things and why they are the way they are and all the health benefits. If you are interested in biohacking your life and taking yourself from the man you are today with barely any knowledge, still drinking tap water, I do the same thing, bro. I'm not trying to say, oh, cut everything out of your life because it's all bad for you. Yeah, it's quite unrealistic unless you want to be a monk and just live in the fucking, in the grass forever. I don't want to do that. I want to function in society like a normal human being. But you've just got to be aware of these things. And it goes a lot deeper than you think. Plastic and all that, the bottles you're drinking out of, all of this shit. You probably know some of them, but there are also probably some that you don't know. So just please keep this in mind, okay? Coaching is down below if you want to learn more about this topic in particular or anything in general. I know a lot of you boys don't have any big brothers or father figures or masculine individuals in your life that you can personally talk to about your problems. And I know some of these things are quite embarrassing. When I was struggling with my porn addiction and video game addiction and fucking struggling with girls and stuff like that, I didn't have anyone to talk to. And even if I did, I probably wouldn't anyway because it was embarrassing. I didn't have anyone that I felt like was on my level. I just felt like I had to deal with this stuff myself. But you don't have to do that. Come and talk to me. The coaching's down below in the description. I'll be that big brother that you wish you had. I'm not judging you. I'm not a therapist. I'm not sat there with my fucking suit and tie with my legs crossed, <laughs> with my pen, taking notes. I'm just your big brother. I'm your best mate that you never had. Come and talk to me about these things you are struggling with. I know you've got problems, bro, and I know it's a struggle, and I know sometimes it feels like no one else understands what you're going through. I guarantee you I've been there and done it. Not only been there and done it, I overcame it, but now I'm teaching it to other people because I found the solution to your exact problem that you are struggling with every single day. You wake up every day and you think to yourself, eh, I would be happy, but I'm dealing with this. I would be content, but I'm dealing with this problem. This porn addiction, this girl broke up with me, my dog died, my mental health is shit, my diet's terrible. My testosterone's low. I'm fat. <laughs> Whatever your problem may be, there is a solution for it. It would not be a problem. It wouldn't exist in the universe if it didn't have a solution. That's the simple law of polarity. It's a law of the universe. Everything must have a polar opposite. If you've got a problem, it must have a solution. Don't feed into anything that takes power away from you. Don't feed into these beliefs of like, well, it's uncurable. I can't do anything about it. That doesn't give you power, does it? That doesn't give you strength. That doesn't, give, that doesn't make you feel healthier and stronger. No, it strips power away from you. So don't feed into that shit. You must believe there's a, a, a solution out there. You must believe there is a, a way of overcoming that obstacle that you are struggling with every single day. And I've got it. So come and talk to me. I'll see you soon.